Okay, we're going to continue uh, factoring our quota wrap. And uh, first right off, I'm going to go ahead and cover that little mistake that I made in class yesterday where I had a brain fart. Uh, luckily, I had done this correctly in the previous video, so if you just follow the videos, you'll be fine. Uh, then we're going to continue to uh, refactor the quota wrap. Uh, last time we revised that get new quote method and it returns the HTML markup for the quote object so we can use the uh, jQuery to put it into the page where we want and that's the first step in being able to add multiple quotes to the application which is what we want to get to. Eventually we're going to have it set up so the user can search and it will return a subset of the quotes. Uh, we're using the new quote data set that we all built together in class. We have about 75 quotes in it. And uh, what we're going to do next is revise this quote method so that we can tell it which quote we want using the index from the set of 75. And then as a test, we'll go ahead and build uh, a button that will display all the quotes in the GUI. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, I want to start out by explaining what happened in class yesterday. Uh, if you look here uh, where I have the quote feed set up, uh, basically I want it to run this method here. And uh, I tried to set that up without using an internal function here, and that's what the problem is. So it turns out in JavaScript, I'd seen this before, whenever you have a function assigned as an event handler, if the function takes a parameter, then you need to use this anonymous function style syntax. If the function doesn't take a parameter, then you can just assign it directly uh, as an event handler. And so in my code yesterday, I forgot that when I was redoing this, and I'd already gotten it right in the videos. So I wanted to kind of clarify that in case I created some confusion for you there. Okay, so uh, this code works fine, and now we're going to go ahead and continue uh, this process. So if we come up here, this get new quote function now, we modified it last time. And now it return it builds this content, which is the markup. And then you can see the final thing here is it returns the content. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to now control which quote we get. And so uh, we want to go ahead and pass the index in. Now, uh, an interesting thing here is I still want to use this function to give me a random quote that's different from the previous one and uh, the easy way to do that is to go ahead and use the same function for both purposes and so I'm going to show you a way to do that here so let's go ahead and add a parameter variable now called dex and then in the case that uh, we want a specific quote we'll pass dex in but if we don't pass the dex in then we'll use our logic that we already have here to uh, randomize the quote. Also, to make it really cool, we'll go ahead and assume that dex is then the current quote, so that uh, if we switch back to using the automatic quote, it won't display the last one that we got deliberately. Okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to check to see which usage we're having so the function is going to really serve two purposes here. And the way I'll tell is if dex exists or not. So if I say if not dex, and not in this case really means not defined or not existing. So that's not passed in. And then uh, basically If I uh, don't have the dext, I'm going to do this. So let's go ahead and indent this. So if not dext, and I'll put a little comment in here so I can document my code. Grab a random quote that is not, whoops, not the same as the last. Okay, and again, that's nothing new. That's what we've been doing all along. Okay. In the event that uh, we do pass the dex in, 
then basically we come down here you can see that we're using new quote so that means that dex is new quote right so we just say uh, I'm sorry new quote is dex equals dex okay and then uh, let's see that's an else statement there so let's build a little block around that else start block whoops sorry got the paren there instead of the curly brace there we go okay so again if there's no dex give me a random quote otherwise dex is new quote we'll grab that particular quote and notice now when we come down here the current quote will be dex so it'll still work the same way okay now the problem is I'm gonna to have to go ahead and uh, think about how I'm calling this so if we go back up here and look when the program first starts and it's doing the random quotes it's not passing any dex in so that should be fine so really what I should probably do is test this now to see if it works with the change and I'm not testing where I passed dex in yet so let's go ahead and control s to save because it's working locally I'll go ahead and use Firefox to test it here whoops gotta be in the uh, source code for the HTML to launch the browser there okay looks like we're good so you can see that my quote feed is working and now if I do the stop feed and then I'll start it again just to make sure everything's working okay looks good and while I'm here I happen to notice that I've got a little bit of an issue here with that square bracket for the tag so maybe I'll go ahead and fix that uh, since I noticed it here so we'll come on down here to uh, the JS again and uh, that's going to be in the get quote method right there is the tag I just want to put a space in there probably don't need a space here after that and so then we'll just save that and let's just take another real quick look it's always good to do things methodically sometimes I say anally yes yeah, so, whoops that yeah, didn't improve much did it so the problem here is I have this space on the one end and not the other okay uh, well maybe I won't worry about that right now all right let's go ahead and stop that all right okay so now I want to test the stuff uh, the uh, the part of the method that actually takes an index and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add a button here to my HTML and uh, the easiest way to do that of course is just to copy the button I already have go ahead and paste it back in and uh, this will be all quotes whoops let's make a camel case here it's again good to have a method and follow it show all quotes okay and that button is called all quote button all right let's go back over to the JS up at the top here where I grab everything I'll go ahead copy that paste it in we'll call this all button and then uh, again this is all quote button so that's gonna get my all button and then I want to attach a function to it here so we'll come on down here where we have our click code and uh, just so it'll work a little bit better here I'm going to put it before uh, the, fi the button here it doesn't really matter right so, so all btn.click 
and then I need my function syntax right this is where I made the mistake before function and then we'll create a function body I'll go ahead and close that off right away I always do this because then I don't forget and I don't make a mistake there so there we go okay now what we want to do in here is we want to roll through all the quotes so we'll create a for each loop here for var uh, q equals zero while q is less than quotes dot length and then q plus plus obviously q is going to be the index of my quotes in my loop and now basically what we want to do is we want to say the quote display let me show you that again let's pop over to the HTML so here's where I'm adding the quotes to the quote display while I'm here by the way I don't really need to have this white space here so I'll just go ahead and get rid of that okay so uh, I've got a quote display object uh, where I grab that handle in my code let's check that real quick that's called Q display so we're going to you know, basically add here so Q display and I think we want a append add might work too I see that there's an add method in there that might be straight JavaScript let's try the append here so Q display append um, then now we're gonna say our new method which is gonna return the quote so get new quote Q get new quote Q All right okay that should work pretty well now there's one other thing I want to do real quick before I try this to make it work a little bit better I'm gonna go over to my CSS so I'm gonna go over to the CSS here and uh, I want to uh, add a QDIF I'm probably gonna to have to check that again let's see here in the script so we want to add some style here to this class called QDIF so here we'll just go on down here this is going to be a class selector so dot QDIV let's see is that the right name yes okay see I don't have that in the markup because I'm generating that in the code right so uh, let's just put a border around here and uh, I always forget the shorthand for this baby so border uh, how about uh, thin oh, okay black yeah again I always forget the shorthand for these uh, that's where you can put a bunch of the values in uh, at one time so I might need to fix this but we'll see if it works out alright okay uh, I think we're about ready to test this now let's go up here and hit the save all and uh, now we'll launch this whoops gotta be in the HTML and preview in Firefox so there's my new button that's looking good oh you know what I forgot to stop the feed so when I show all the quotes I'm gonna have to stop the feed alright so show all quotes does work but then the feed interferes with it so we have to turn the feed off when we uh, show all the quotes alright so let's go ahead and do that doesn't look like my CSS is right either I'll have to probably stop and get look at a reference for that so uh, I don't know if you can hear the dogs or not. My wife just came in with the dogs and they're barking to be fed. That's always kind of funny. It sounds on the video. Okay, so um, again, let's see. Here we go. All button click. And uh, we already have this code here. 
so we can just grab it and we also want to set our feed flag again to be off and uh, honestly we should change the button too right because now the feeds off so we're just gonna grab all the code from here and uh, just go ahead and I think it might be better to put the code first because it'll stop the feed before uh, we generate the display of all the quotes so conceivably it could take long enough that it would kick in in the middle and mess it up alright let's run it again pop on over here uh, to index source code and Firefox alright so uh, again the feed is running show all the quotes there's all the quotes and obviously we need to mess with the uh, styling here of our QDIF so let's go back and play with that I might need to uh, stop the vid for a second and do some look up here but we'll see what we can do alright so main CSS alright first off let's uh, try a little bit different approach here so let's say border dash bottom uh, how about that let's see if that does the trick so that should put a line on the bottom between the borders. I could put an HR in there too, but most of the time we use the borders for those sorts of things uh, when we're styling things. Alrighty, come on baby, let's see what we get. We can do padding and all that stuff too. So again, show all quotes, uh, still not getting it. Alright, let me stop the vid for a minute and uh, consult my CSS reference and we'll get busy again. Well, I'm still having some trouble with that shorthand for doing the borders, but I did something else. So what I did is I created a background color on the QDIV, which is for the individual quote sections. Added some padding all the way around, and I added a margin bottom, uh, which now I see I have misspelled, which is why it wasn't displaying. <clears throat> so now if we look at this, again, go back to the HTML, preview in Firefox there's a single quote show all quotes and now we're getting there so now we can see that the quotes are all separated and there's actually 75 so our menu controls are now at the very bottom of the page we might want to fix that it might be better to put them at the top of the page uh, and then of course if I hit start feed it goes back to the single quote and begins the feed again here so we're really coming along we're almost ready now to do our uh, search which uh, we can implement that here uh, in the next video I think okay I think we're doing all right